Hello, Dodgen 6th grade band. Today we are going to be working on the Dodgen Daily Dozen. You'll need the following things. The Daily Dozen sheet, which you can get off of the OneNote class notebook in the content library. You will also need a pencil and, of course, your instrument. The Daily Dozen deals with chromatic scales, chromatic notes. That's notes that are right next to each other, can't get any closer. Like on this piano keyboard, here are the notes from our exercise today. You see, I hit every single key in order. I didn't skip any. And going down. Okay, now let's take a look at the notes here for the bassoons. The first thing you want to check on any piece is the key signature over here. And we can see that B is flat and E is flat. There's not any B flats in the piece, but there sure are some E flats. You'll also notice there's a lot of E naturals too, all these natural signs. So the E's are going to be a concern for us. In fact, let's circle them. So I'm circling this first E natural here. That one's flat because of the key. That one's natural. And here's another E natural right here. Now, right next to it, there's another E. Is this one flat or is it natural? Well, because this bar line happened right here, that's kind of our reset switch for accidentals. So that means we follow the key signature again, which says E is flat. So that's E natural, that's E flat, because the bar line happened. Okay, let's take a look at the second line. And there's an E flat and an E natural here. Just a couple of notes later, yet another E natural. All right, so since this E is within the same measure to make this one flat, they had to put a flat sign next to it. So that's E natural, that's E flat, and way over here, that is still E flat. So that's E flat, that's E flat. Now in the next measure, we have that same accidental rule here that says it lasts till the end of the measure. So that E is natural. That means that that E right there is still natural because it's within the same measure. Right after that, we have a flat sign. So it goes back to being E flat, like the key says. So that's E natural, E natural, E flat. Now, to really put this to the test, we need to note name this in rhythm. So, let's go back to the beginning. Here's line A, note names in rhythm. To be super clear, I'll try and remember to say E flat and E natural. Not just the letter, but the flat or naturalness of that note, since that's the big concern on this line. One, two, note names, go. B, e, e flat, E natural, F. Rest, F, E natural, E flat, D, rest. Stop. Okay, hopefully you did that pretty well. Now the bigger challenge will be line B because it will go twice as fast. Because quarter notes are twice as fast as half notes always. So here we go, part B. Ready and go. D, E flat, E natural, F, E natural, E flat, D, E flat, E natural, F, E natural, E flat, D. Rest. Stop. All right, if you made it through line B with uh, perfection there, you really understand these note names and you're ready to move on. If you had any troubles, you might want to go back and try that again before you move on and try to play it. And now let's go to the instrument. Bassoons, I'm sorry, this is not a bassoon, but I can play it in the same range as the bassoon, so you'll be able to hear if you play along, if you're getting the right pitches. So here we go. Daily Dozen, letter A. One, two, ready? And that was A. Now our goal here is to, uh, by 
Friday to have a recording or a live performance of letter A and B for the band directors. I'll talk about that after we play letter B. Here comes B. Make sure you sing with great posture. You have your seat strap adjusted where the instrument comes right to your mouth. Great hand position. And here we go. Letter B. One, two, ready? smooth and flowing. Okay, so there's two ways we can get this assignment completed. Number one is to go to the OneNote class notebook and uh, in the recordings section, insert a recording. Super simple. I'm going to have a different video showing how to do that. There's literally a record button. It'll record your sound and put it right into the class notebook. The other way is to play it live. For me, I have a Zoom meeting is scheduled. That schedule is published on the Edmodo page for band. And I'll try to send out also some communication to parents so they know how to get to that Zoom meeting. If you want to play it live or just get a little extra help, that's what that's for. All right, happy practicing, and I look forward to seeing you guys really, really soon.